as expected, fully packed here tonight. All the seats have been sold. We're live at the Empire Fight Camp. I'm Todd Grisha. And watching this live with me is Johnny Nelson. Todd, it's going to be an amazing night. As per usual, everybody's going to benefit. It's time for our tale of the tape. And in this corner, Connor Ben. He's 173 centimeters tall with a reach of 173. And he'll be facing the Dark Destroyer, Nigel Ben. He comes in at 177 centimeters tall with a 185 centimeter reach. Yeah, if you've got a brawl that's in front of you, that's going to put you under pressure. Get to your ribs and get close. You've got to be faster than your feet. If you've got the height and the reach, which I always go for, I, I depend on that. But if someone is going to push you back, keep pushing you down, you're going to be under pressure. Don't get stuck in the corner. Because if you do, you're out of there. Connor, the destroyer Ben, one of those must-see type of fighters coming out of the UK. The famous son of a legend who's beating his own path. The dark destroyer, Nigel Ben, one of the greatest English champions of all time. This legendary middleweight fights out of London, England. The reach, how on earth are they going to get through that jab? Well, Johnny, anything can and will happen here in boxing. Let's see what happens. This bout is scheduled for three rounds of boxing. Hiding out of the red corner, introducing from Essex, England, a continental welterweight champion, Connor the Destroyer Ben. Hiding out of the blue corner, from London, England, here is a middleweight and super middleweight champion of the world known as the Dark Destroyer, introducing Nigel Ben. You've heard of people dancing underneath the moonlight tonight? It's a fight underneath the moonlight, and what a fight it should be. The clouds have held the rain back. It's getting breezy, it's getting darker. The fans are getting desperate. They want to get involved in this fight, and now, the action's about to begin. These athletes have been waiting a long time to square off. Here we go. Got him with a left jab. He just misses with that jab. He didn't take that jab well at all. Have you ever danced with the devil under the pale moonlight? That's what these two men are about to go through as they've been talking so much trash on social media. It's time to settle the score. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Oh, and there he caught him with a stiff jab. and he caught him with a stiff jab. This counter puncher is going to wait for you to move first and then will strike like a snake. Keep an eye on this guy. To beat a counter puncher, you've got to take them out of their pace. Do not wait for them because if you wait, they'll pepper and pop you all night long. Rush them. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. This one could go either way. Every round is so important. It's too hard to split. Do you listen to your head or your heart? Which one of these athletes is going to be the first to go down? He 
takes that jab. Nice punch. Keep an eye on this slugger. As you know, he's willing to take three to give one. That's his game plan, and it's worked out pretty well for him so far. How you deal with a slugger? You've got to use brain over brawn. Ball in the matador. Pop, jab, move. Get them angry. Some nice exchanges from both men in this rank. And this with that jab. He misses with that jab. This fight is all about distance for this man, and you can see he's using that length advantage. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Which fighter is winning this bout? So important. The referee's got to do his fight right. He's got to judge this right. He's got to do his job right. And that'll do it for the time between rounds as we get set to get back in the action. Which fighter is going to get caught first? There's an uppercut, a big uppercut, and his knees buckled that time. And he's being smothered here in the clinch and can't get his shots off. He just gets out of the way of that right uppercut. You can see he does not like being grabbed onto. He gets out of the way of that left hand. A lot of people love watching fighters in this weight class because they've got the speed and they've got the power. The middleweights are the best you can ever come across. Obviously, the glamour weight is a heavyweight, but the middleweight is the size of the average man or woman. When you get in there and you're letting the shots go, you've got power, you've got speed, you've got pace. You can stand, you can dance, you can do everything. We can look back in history. You know the amazing fights at middleweight are ridiculous. That is what writes our history books. These two are the perfect dance partners.
Another scoring shot there. Good look. This round still up for Krabs with just 10 seconds to go. Tough way to lose it by split decision. A split decision, I've enjoyed that. I actually forgot the rounds rolled by. The rounds were that close, they flew by. But what excitement. I could watch another 15 rounds of that. They probably can't do it, but we can watch it. Split decision, good call.
Welcome to the WBC Arena, and here we go, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Todd Grisham. Alongside me, English fighting legend Johnny Nelson. It's going to be unbelievable. The fans, everybody around the world, the fighters, this is just one of those things. And now it's time for the tale of the tape. Muhammad Ali, six foot three inches tall. He is the greatest of all time. Muhammad Ali, watch the footwork, watch the hand speed. No one does it like Ali. This bout is scheduled for three. These two have been going at it, and now finally, they're about to go at it in the ring. Todd, it's a privilege and an honor to be here. You know what? I feel so, so lucky to be sat here talking about something I love. And what I say, you must obey. Good luck. High hopes for this battle between these two athletes. an uppercut, a big uppercut, and his knees buckled that time. He got out of the way of that right hook. Neither one of them want this to go to the judges' scorecards. Takes that jab. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. That punch landed. What a punch. You're not going to see a lot of finesse and skills from this guy. He wants to bury his forehead in your chest and pound away. You find the swarmer, you've got to protect everything. The body with the elbow, the head with the forearm. You've got to try and push them off balance because they will just stay in your face. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. This fight could not be any closer, could it, Johnny? That was super tight. I dread being a judge. Fighter's gonna get caught first. Oh, and he caught him with an uppercut. Quick punch scores. Heavyweights decide to exchange bombs early or decide to box a little bit. I've seen it so many times. One punch changes everything. I've seen guys winning hands down. They decide to showboat and show off them. Blam! It's over. So they've got to stay sharp. One punch changes everything. And nice exchanges from both men in this round. Caught him with a stiff jab. <laughs> nice 
Nice punch. In the early rounds of a fight, you'll see two boxers feel each other out, test each other's power, and I think this boxer has decided I can walk through anything that lands. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Who's winning this fight right now? I have no idea. It's too hard to split. Do you listen to your head or your heart? Who's going to be the first one to get buzzed? He just misses with that jab. Good punch. How do they use this fighter's aggression against them? I've seen some aggressive fighters like this, and they are a nightmare. If you are not fit, if you are not fit, that is the worst place to be, having second thoughts in the ring. A scoring uppercut there. And forth they go, neither fighter willing to back down. And he caught it with a left hook. What a punch. Better be careful, the referee may take a point if he keeps clinching. There's no way this fighter can go punch for punch. Their resistance to these blows just isn't the same. What a gift. What a gift it is to have a chin where you know you can walk through anything and everything. When you let those shots go, and it's just bouncing off, and they're walking... This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. sure about the judges on this one a split decision win a split decision you know what i feel sorry for the leads because heart and soul was laid out right there everything was left in the ring there's no regrets and we had a good time as well they did the work we enjoyed the action split decision totally agree with it you never know we might see it all over again All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up. I appreciate everybody um, for tuning in. I definitely wanted to do a test stream just to see. I switched from um, Streamlabs OBS just for just for PC gaming, just for Steam um, to OBS. And OBS seems to be just regular, strictly OBS, which I never used before. It seems to be working a whole lot better. So um, for the PC, for the PC gaming, we're going to roll with the uh, OBS. And then for PlayStation, of course, we're going to use Streamlabs um, OBS just because I already got the uh, settings and everything 
um, up there. But I appreciate everybody for uh, for just tuning in for this test test stream. I can't talk. We'll be back probably maybe a little bit later. I can jump on. I'll be able to go in a little bit um, longer. Put the put the face cam up and, and really interact with y'all. But this was mainly just to make sure that the test stream did work. And again, I appreciate everybody for dropping through. Um, still make sure you smash that like button because uh, we did do a couple of matches. A uh, couple matches. But I appreciate everybody. Y'all have a great rest of your day. I'll see y'all a little bit later. Peace.